guys, it's Regan, and today I'm here to do a video that I am excited about. I'm also using this to procrastinate from studying. I have a final today at 7 o'clock at night, and I'm filming a video. But that's not here nor there. Today I want to talk about the books that I really want to reread this year, or just in general, soon. With the prospect of summer coming upon me, I'm seeing all of this free time unravel before me, and I feel like now is the time to get to the books that I've loved in the past and I've been meaning to pick up for so long again. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump in with the first book. The first book I really want to get to is quite the throwback. This was the book that was probably my first review on booktube. It doesn't exist anymore because it was technically on a different channel. Let me know if you remember that. But the book is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. This was one of my all-time favorite series. I felt like I talked about this so much during the first few years of booktube. Loved it to death. I actually read this right when I graduated high school and I'm now about to graduate college. And I just really feel like I want to re-enter this world. This was my introduction to Patrick Ness and this is a fantastic YA science fiction novel following our main character Todd and his dog Manchi and Todd lives in a world where there are only men and everybody can hear everybody else's thoughts until one day he stumbles upon the impossible silence. It's so good. It kind of reminds me of like Huckleberry Finn mixed with a few other really amazing books with its entirely own spin. I just think this book is so good and I really want to pick it up again. It gave me so many feels and I want to feel those feels again. Next up is a contemporary novel I actually do have a review on on this channel which I'll leave linked down below. Again, I read this book I think freshman year of college. This book is so dang good and I don't read a lot of contemporary but this book has really stuck with me throughout the years and that is The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. This is a contemporary novel following a main character who's struggling with schizophrenia and um, the story follows him at various points in his life and the writing changes uh, based on the font depending on where he is but the hook of this book is I'll tell you what happened because it will be a good way to introduce my brother. His name is Simon. I think you're going to like him. I really do. But in a couple of pages he'll He'll be dead and he was never the same after that. This book deals with mental illness, it deals with familial drama, it deals with grief and moving on. It's such a good story. I really, really, really loved it. I'll leave my review link down below if you want more in-depth information about it. Next is a book that kind of falls into, I started this series so long ago, really liked it, but can't continue on because I don't remember what happened in the first book. And that is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. I really, really enjoy Libba Bray's writing. I think she's a really great author. This is a dark paranormal historical fiction YA book that I read again like four years ago. It's set in a boarding school. It has to do with dark powers. I liked it when I read it. I have the next ones in the series. Can't read those until I reread this though because I don't even remember the first name of this character but I do remember that I liked it. Next up is a childhood favorite. I haven't read this book in years but completely read it a trillion times when I was a child and that is The Phantom Tollbooth. This book was just so whimsical and so fun and made me think in ways I never did as a child and I just really really like it. It's also just hands down a classic. It's been around forever. I'm sure a lot of you have read it as well. Really want to read this again because I just think it'll really be a blast from the past. Next up is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which I tout as my favorite book of all time. And I've only read it a few times and it's been at least four years since I've read it since. I feel like this is a book that will really speak to me again at this point in time in my life. The first time I read it, I was about to graduate high school and now I'm about to graduate college. It's all about like finding yourself, following what you believe in, staying true to who you are amongst many other themes. It was just a really impactful book then and I feel like it's gonna have a similar message to me now, just at a different perspective as I've gotten a little older as well. Just really love this story and I really want to reread it. The back says it all, I'd always rather be happy than dignified. It's just so good. Next up is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Again, one of my all-time favorite books. Have not picked this up, I want to say, in like six years, which I just feel like is absurd. I've seen the movie like five times, but I haven't actually picked up the physical book in so, so, so long. I own two editions of it now. I just feel like I would really love to re revisit the story and book form again. It's one of my favorites, a World War II historical fiction following a young girl who lives in a German town and she steals books and it's, you know, it follows her, her family, and a myriad of other characters 
and it's so dang good. I love it. I just want Marcus Zusak to write more books, please. Thank you. And the last book also falls under the category of I read it so long ago, want to reread it so I can continue on. And that is the first one to this. This is A Gathering of Shadows, but I want to read A Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab. I read it like two and a half years ago. I really want to give it a reread though because I feel like I would enjoy it one more now and two I don't really remember a lot of what happened and I have the next couple books in this series and I feel like I will really really enjoy it now so I really want to get to it so I can continue on with this series this summer. Alrighty guys those are the books I really want to get to rereading soon. Let me know down below some books you really want to reread in the near future as I would love to know and I will see you soon with another video soon. Goodbye!